several of you had some pretty evil suggestions as to what we can toss in there. And I have dug through my piles, and I found a variety of what you asked for. I don't have a hard drive right now, but I do have a CD-ROM drive. That should be fun. Now this is for high voltage rules. A pair of broken flyback transformers. Now this one's got uh, some broken pins, and this one's got a broken case. So you're... trust me, I'm, I'm saving the good ones for you. But I thought you would enjoy seeing what might happen to a pair of those. And just because the irony was far, far too great. A safe house water alarm system. I don't think we'll hear it beeping, however. So, the glass now has to tumble for about eight hours. Once that's done, we can see what'll survive. My prediction, um, I think the water alarm will be pretty much pulverized. I suspect the metal casing of the disk drive will come out, but it'll be jammed full of broken glass and actually won't have done that much damage to the outside. I mean, it won't work. As far as the two flyback transformers, I don't know if we'll see bits of copper. I don't know how they handle. We'll see. So you're, we're going to fire up now. I'm going to put the cover on, eight hours later, to see what happens. Destruction, baby. Okay, it's been more than ten hours. Let's see what it looks like in there. left all the uh, copper on the board. The plastic feels really rough and the ferrite is missing. That's to be expected I suppose. CD drive. I think that was a CD drive. Yeah, it was a CD drive. Comkek. Well, You know, it just, it doesn't look that bad. Once again, we've taken everything off the board, down to just the copper. Now you know how to do that if you ever need to. Hunks of ferrite core from the two uh, different flybacks. I'm going to have to drain this so I can find the stuff. Found the other flyback. All of the bottom plate is gone. Both of the adjustment knobs are frozen once again. The textures uh, like plaster, really. And the magnet, not the magnet, sorry, the uh, ferrite didn't survive. The water alarm, I think, is the surprise of the day. You can no longer read on, off, or whatnot, but uh, it came apart. It has some glass in it. <laughs> My God. I mean, she really held together. That was 10 hours that thing tumbled in there. Sorry. 
That's 10 hours of tumbling. I'm impressed. Once again, the plastic has that really rough texture. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll dry that little piezo out and see if she uh, still whistles. Pump a little more voltage than it's required. See if we can get her to fire back up again. But, yeah, fascinating. All right, well, tomorrow's another day. So send in more suggestions for, I guess, what we'll call shit in a cement mixer. Thanks for watching.